Ahoy, mighty! Have a happy St. Pat St. Patrick's Day! Happy St. Patrick's Day! Go to chipchipperson.com and get yourself a St. Patrick's Day mug or get yourself a St. Patrick's Day shirt or go I'm doing what wrong? That's a whole spell better. Go to chiptipperson.com and get yourself a St. Patty's Day mug and get yourself a St. Patty's Day mug or get yourself a St. Patty's Day shirt or get yourself a St. Patty's Day mug or get yourself a St. Patty's Day shirt at chiptipperson.com, you know. You could go there, matey. That's a whole spell better. Hey, 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 what's up, party people? Let's go! I can hear you. I can All hear right. you, Chippa. Okay. I'm going to pop in, but you guys got to like look confused. Like, where is he? Is he okay? Someone okay. say like, I heard something bad happen to Chippa and I got like a whole story I'm going to tell. Okay. All, All right. right. So hold on. Let me back off. Uh, let just don't let my voice be on. And then you guys talk like I heard something bad happen to Chippa and I'll come right in with this story and you try not to cry. Okay. This feels like Good Ferris time. Bueller. Yeah, this is for Valentine's Day. So wait till you hear the story oh, I got. All right. Okay. Uh, I'm going to back off and not say nothing. Okay. Hey, guys. What's uh, what's going so on? You guys just act like, yeah, act oh like, <laughs> act like uh, you heard something happen to Chipperson and you're upset and concerned and whatnot. Right, th things of that nature. That was right what we were doing. <laughs> hey, guys. Okay. I, uh, okay. I, I heard something. What what did you hear, Matt? What happened? What, what happened? I'm nervous. I, Me uh, too. I have some bad news. Oh no! Oh no! I heard something happened to Chip. What? That was what all a misunderstanding. Oh, oh my god! All a misunderstanding. Oh, Chip. Yeah, wow. no, I know it's Fair okay. Wow. Yeah, yeah, no, I was out on my Valentine's Day date, and oh. uh, it was really nice. It was a, we had a really nice time. But that's why I'm a little bit late, if you know what I'm talking about. You know. I, oh. I heard something bad had happened. So that's good to hear that was wrong. Well, no, because <laughs> I've had look, I was making up a list. We're going to start. Welcome, Matty Eisman. Welcome, Anthony. Welcome, Zia. Drinking out of your pickers mug. I see that. <laughs> Always, of There's course. There's a good girl. There's a good girl for daddy. Now, he I uh, want a pickers mug. What's that? Yeah, a lot of people right? don't, unfortunately. Believe me. You put your pecker in a mug and show it to a girl. Believe me, I don't care for it. Anyway, <laughs> tea, Daddy, welcome. Tea bagging in the pecker's mug. I'm sorry. Oh, look there at that. Go. <laughs> We're going to have to edit that out because oh, it was a little vulgar a little for vulgar. a lady. Sorry, it was. Yeah. <laughs> now, well, listen, like a lady. Maddie, I was been checking out before I get to the Valentine's Day. I've yeah, been buddy. checking out your show of uh, uh, the rescue people of uh, yeah. from out of town. It's yes, a good that's... show. That's it. Thank you, Chip. Uh, yeah, it's a live rescue. You can see right behind you, uh, you, you would be someone who would need rescuing and, and rescue cam, which is the show that's currently airing Friday nights on A&E. You see uh, it's it's footage, uh, footage from cameras, from from body cams where you are taken inside uh, as, as people. You see the most amazing rescues, first responders and also citizen heroes, sometimes average people. Just in the right place and doing the right thing. Oh, I'm really sure that happened. Stuff. I'm sure Chip has uh, stories about him saving people. You think oh, so? Yeah. And when no. you said it, believe me, it, it takes you inside. I'm like, you got to give this to a gynecologist, you know. Uh, but <laughs> I didn't want to be too fresh. You know, Anthony <laughs> knows what I'm saying. Look at oh, this son of a I? gun. <laughs> yeah, I know what you're saying, Chip. <laughs> but oh, yeah, I've saved wait. a few people too, you know. But, like, Chip, I think these would be great stories, stories that probably the the viewers of rescue cam and live rescue would love to love to have shared with them. Well, you know what? I could be like a special guest that comes on every week and you could go like, say something happens, like there's a fire or something like, like behind me, I could say, yeah, but what it was a mud flood. One time I was out in San Bernardino and there was a flood and I seen a lady floating by in a chair and I pushed the chair to get her out of the floods way. Did, oh. did you get her out of the floods way? Yes, but unfortunately, it was onto the train tracks. I made a <laughs> slight calculation error. Thank God there wasn't a train coming. That would have been another story. <laughs> so she was okay. 
Yeah, she was OK. Thank the great. good Lord. Yeah, yeah, yeah. She thanked me. She's like, oh, God, you're a hero. I'm like, please, quiet people. She's talking. You know, a I hero like ain't a hero ain't nothing but a sandwich. That's really true. I learned that from Cornbread Earl and me. I always said Cornbread Earl and me. He's a food, right? <laughs> yeah. 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 So did you guys have a nice Valentine? Now we're going to cut this part out. Because this is going to air Valentine's Day. Now, I know we right. could all be dead. Who knows what's going to happen? Oh, God forbid. I, I know. I'm just saying. Uh, so this could air posthumously. So let me ask you, did you have a nice Valentine's Day today? Because today is Valentine's Day today. Yeah, today was a very nice day. Yep. Very. What'd Valentine's you do, babe? Is the best. What'd you do? Oh, my favorite thing to do on Valentine's Day and also the day after is go to the store because that's when all the candy is like 50 to 70 percent mm. off oh. and you just go nuts. Like, that's really all I need for Valentine's Day. It's freaking great. Or, yeah, or you, like you go you go mounds if if you're not feeling like a nut. Oh, <laughs> look at there that. you go. Do you remember that song? Oh. Um, and Joy's got nuts. Mounds don't. <laughs> I used to <laughs> sing that a lot. Chip, when did you date Almond Joy? <laughs> <laughs> Well, you know, it's funny. I dated Mounds for many years. And then I'm like, Chipperson, thanks to Norton, you're an Almond Joy guy. You can't help yourself. He says, All right. You know, it ain't my preference, but, you know, I'm stuck with, yeah, I'm stuck with him, you know. Yeah, you got a little pack, pack, cup, pack a couple of nuts in there. I, oh, Lord. I can't get over how much I love Chipper Dangerfield here. <laughs> I'd be honest, it just kind of flows out of me, you know, once in a while. It's just I'm a regular guy and I like to let people know that I'm a regular guy. You know, I'm yeah. just like everybody. They keep me up on a pedestal. I says, bring me down, you know, bring me to earth. Very good. So listen, uh, I was making like a list, like the top three times that your Valentine's date has either left you in the restaurant or went to the bathroom and had sex with someone while you sat at the <laughs> table. <laughs> You have a, enough for a list. Yeah, I only put my top three. Oh, um, okay. God. Yeah, yeah. But I, I was wondering, like, I'm sure that's happened so to sad. everybody. Anthony, what's your first Valentine, worst Valentine's Day date? I don't think I've ever had a bad one that I would remember. It was usually a, a nice uh, evening out, either either casually or uh, you know romantically or so, but. You know, a gift uh, are exchanged and pleasantries, a nice dinner, and then a, maybe a movie, and then, you know. <laughs> <laughs> and then butt stuff, because that's for Valentine's Day. <laughs> oh, oh, wait, hold on a second, if you don't mind, Aunt, let me jump over to the lady. <laughs> I, I do mind. <laughs> yeah, the butt stuff on Valentine's Day. Now it's <laughs> for special occasions. Oh, oh that's terrible. Bel I <laughs> You know what? You joke, but I've said to girls, I was out with uh, with Jenny Flufkin. Jenny Flufkin was a really cute girl. And I said to her, you know, it's Valentine's Day, so I hope we're going to make this puppy stink later. <laughs> what a That's wonderful really day. romantic. <laughs> what a wonderful day to gorge yourself with chocolate. <laughs> you, better watch, you better watch Hallmark doesn't steal that one. <laughs> that's, uh, that's a good one. So, yeah, hold on a second, babe. See it's called about. Let's Make It Stink. Let's starring it stink. Candace Cameron Bure. <laughs> uh. Now, let me ask you something, babe. So, uh, yeah. special, like, sensual stuff on Valentine's Day happened? Yeah, always. You got to. It's, yeah, it's, it's, it's kind of like you have to... It, there's something about it. I would rather do that, I feel like, than a date. You know what I mean? Just the date's quiet, fine. Uh, home, yeah. kind of yeah. nice, just casual, dirty fun. Give me candy. Just make sure you give me dirty candy. Fun. You like yeah. that good, candy, huh? Good, good yeah. dirty fun. But Matt's right. That's a bad day for butt stuff. If you're eating a whole bunch of candy and whatnot. Oh, if you no. time it out right, you're fine. Uh, <laughs> oh, I, I guess you just so. got to make sure there's like a window. You know what I'm saying? Yeah, oh, that's true. But Jesus. I've made the mistake and the window has been at the wrong time. And all of a sudden the mud came through the window. Oh. You know what I'm talking about. Oh, was it really a mistake? <laughs> yeah, she lied. She told me she quit. She's like, no, I haven't had any candy. And I looked down. I'm like, someone told the fit. We laughed about it. You know. <laughs> so, Matt, what did you do on your Valentine's Day? Did you ever have a bad Valentine's Day date? Oh, my God. I, I think probably the worst Valentine's were in elementary school and, mm. and junior oh. high. When yeah. you have crushes and you'd put you'd go to put a card in in your crushes 
desk and you'd see 47 other cards that looked a lot bigger, better, and uh, with better penmanship and candy than you had. Yep. And you thought, I'm just going to throw this right in the trash can where it belongs. That was a sad day. I, I do remember that. Like some of the more popular people would get a lot of Valentines yep. from, from the girls. And, and you know, you'd be sitting there going, oh, what am I? Piece of garbage? Yes. Yesterday's tomatoes. <laughs> yes. <laughs> my desk was Question like my easily heart. answered. It was empty. So wait, would you not? Now, Anthony, would you not get a Valentine's Day card? I would maybe get one or two, but maybe. It's you know? funny. I can't really vividly recall a specific, a specific or a really special Valentine's Day incident, like mm. Christmas, mm -hmm. even Thanksgiving. There are times with with uh, significant others where you the, the yep. holidays stood up, but may, maybe maybe that's why I'm not married. <laughs> you know what? Yeah. Believe me, I one time I, I pulled the fast one. Um, Melba Flufkin, she was Jenny's sister. They were pretty girls. The three, the Flufkin sisters were hot tomatoes. Hey, the Flufkin she, sisters. <laughs> they were yeah, sorority, sisters, sorority sisters with Fon Leibowitz. <laughs> yeah. <laughs> I would do the Fonzie impression. It's funny. I would, hey, the Flufkins. What are you like, Tuscaderos and whatnot and things of that nature? You know, they understood. Good one. So Melba Flufkin, right? Everybody would leave cards in a desk, but I left one and it said, hey, I've been watching you and I'm going to make you bleed. If you need safety, you should go out with Chipperson. Wow, that's so it was a threat. It was from no, someone it else. It was helping somebody. But then she called me. She's like, do you know anything about this? I'm like, no, I don't. But I guess we should go out. Oh, did, wow. did she go out with you? Yep. Did you protect her from this this person that was going <laughs> to hurt her? <laughs> yes, I did. Yes, I did. We went to Fuddruckers and uh, it was on Valentine's Day. We were at Fuddruckers and I was at the table and she excused herself and went to the bathroom and her and the waiter were gone for two hours. Two oh. hours. Who is this yeah. waiter? I don't know. But he was a kid that played. He was a football player from the school. And she goes, oh, I love his little buttons, Chipper. And then they were both gone. And I walked into the restroom and they were coming out of the stall. And she said he was fixing my lashes. I was like, oh, oh. OK, Melba. Oh, God. I just said, Melba, you're the toast of the town. Get it? <laughs> no. It's Melba toast, <laughs> Chip. <laughs> <laughs> See, Zia, because you're a cutie patootie, you probably always had guys wanting you to be their Valentine. Yeah, I bet. Um, you know, I did have a guy that I was dating when I was probably like 14 or 15 who didn't have a car, so he hitchhiked <laughs> to bring me uh, a box of chocolates and some flowers. <laughs> that was nice. That's romantic. He did. Yeah, he left him on the gate of my house. <laughs> oh, what did you <laughs> reward him with a kiss? Uh, I did. You know what? He did get a kiss for that later. Yeah. Nice. Oh, yeah. a little wow. smooch. Do tell. I mean, that was really all there was to it. But then oh. I found out later that that guy told a friend of mine that he was just trying to sleep with me and then he was going to bail. <laughs> and I was like, well, oh, cool. okay. that's, oh, a, wow. that's a strong <laughs> rap to put out to, to your to the girl you like's friend. Right. Yeah. Yeah. That's not going to get back to her. Yeah. I, I don't know why he thought that, tr that he wasn't going to tell me, but <laughs> I was like, well, that's nice. That's a nice the guy, guy that told you was probably trying to get into your pants. Oh, yeah, he did. Was it? Oh. Yeah. yeah. The constant battle between girls and their pants. That's and the right. guys that want to get in them. Believe yeah. me, I yeah. Wore pants that much, cheese. <laughs> what did your you skirt? Yeah, yeah but you got to be careful because I'm the type of friend, Z. If you ever need a friend to talk, I could be that friend that you could talk to when you have a problem. Oh, thanks, Chip. You really just want to listen to like my problems That's right. and help me get through them. That's right. Nice and I'll guy. tell you all about what's wrong with the guys you're with. Like, oh, that guy's <laughs> just trying to get into your slacks. My slacks. Uh, <laughs> yeah. Trying to and get then, your Go ahead. What's up, Bob? Sorry. The, the, the girl, the girl will then go like, oh, you're such a good friend and give you the friend hug. And then you'll go home thinking, you know, you have you're going to be uh, her boyfriend. And, yep. and, and, and then works she out. and then she drops the oh, he's like a brother to me. Yeah. Yeah. yeah you're like my brother. You know? Yeah. 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 I had a girl say that to me. She's like, you're my brother. And I was like, incest is best. You know? 
I think we get a <laughs> kick out of it. Yeah. It's a very popular category on Pornhub. I don't well, like that anywhere. stuff because one time one of my aunts tried to get all fresh with me while we were slow dancing. At a Your wedding aunts or did? Yeah, we no. were at a wedding. How old and were we you, were, Chip? What's that? How old were you? I was 24 <laughs> and we were slow dancing and all of a sudden her head started to go down my chest and down towards my belt buckle. And I was oh, like, you're being fresh. I screamed at her. And then someone told me, oh, she's having a heart attack. <laughs> oh, my God. So I was like, all right. I felt kind of silly. Thank God. You know, we were able to save her. She was OK. We left Call 911 and get the emergency crews there and then match it. Oh, I screamed Chip, you, at her. You broke her heart. Oh, see? That's, Little heartbreaker. That's what my mother told me. She goes, Chippy, you're a heartbreaker. She goes, I can't believe Aunt Walona fell for you like that. We laughed about it when she was okay. But I thought she was hitting on me. I screamed at her. (laughs) A little older than me. How much older? She's 84. Oh, Oh, jeez. I was 24, 60 years. And you thought she was picking and trying to make a move on you. Right there on the dance floor. I was like, what is she doing? I mean, sure, it's standing up at attention, but she doesn't have to do it. (laughs) gave her the wrong idea chip <laughs> you let her oh on my God. It's so terrible. just what melba flufkin missed out on yeah. yeah well you know it's funny i uh when i was 18 i was a senior in high school or i'm uh, you know and i had a crush on the prettiest girl in school and i got mm. her to go to a french restaurant with me she finally helen helen phlegm she was the pretty her out that's pretty that's pretty courageous, Jim. I walked right up to her and I said, look, I know that a lot of people think that I'm a piece of garbage and my mother is obese and an alcoholic and people tease me about picking my nose and eating it a lot. But I could show you what a real relationship is. And that was uh, it worked that that yep. line. That, that sounds like you're paraphrasing a foreigner song. <laughs> I want to know. <laughs> <laughs> yo, the jukebox hero, whenever that song would come on, I would oh. always point and go, yo, 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 this is kind of about me. Oh, oh. 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 jukebox hero. Yeah, it would be like a jukebox hero. And I would kind of point at myself. I would say, tell yeah. me they're not singing about me, babe. Oh, it makes so, sense. Yeah. Helen Did you buy Flem- a guitar from a secondhand store? You know how to play it, <laughs> but I know for sure. <laughs> it's karaoke and time. Chip would just yep. be there like, yeah, this is songs all about me. Yeah, hell yeah. Which because- is the, it's the same song as Shooting Star by by Bad Guy. <laughs> yeah, it's Shooting Star. Same thing. Died one night. Died. Like they both die. Like really, it's a cautionary tale. Don't, yes. be, don't be a rock star. The guitar oh, line. Guy, that's right. I said to the girl, I said, I remember when I got my first six string. <laughs> was the summer of 89? Oh, 89 now. <laughs> I used that to sing Brian that. Adams. I graduated in 89 and we used to say that. Yeah, Jay, Those were cool. the best years of my life. <laughs> yep. That was it, too. It was the last year you could do that because 90 didn't really work. So. No, it didn't. Yeah. But I want to know how did Jody's marriage work out? We should have uh, known we'd never get far. Yeah, I know Jimmy quit. You know, Jimmy had to quit. He had them charges <laughs> coming up. You know, he, a band with a guy named Jody's probably not going very far. No, not yeah. at all. We don't know if it was a guy or a girl, Jody, no, but we got to assume it was a guy named Jody. And the other guys would probably tease him and go, come here, lady name. And he's like, I'm just going to get married. I can't handle this anymore. Oh, now, come here, boy. <laughs> so, yeah, Helen was really late. Helen Flem. Helen Flem. Yeah, but Hottest it's not girl in school. Hottest, but it's not spelled the way that the gross way. P A right, right. P H right. L E G M. That's yeah. how you spell the name. That's oh wait, spelled- that is oh. the disgusting way. F L E M. I think yuck. is yuck. Oh, that's the gross way. Yeah, <laughs> there's yuck. Fleming. Oh, I've heard of Fleming, like mm-hmm. Peggy Fleming, the skater. Sure, yeah. that the act of to Flem. <laughs> yes, when you're Fleming. Yeah. No, but me and uh, Helen, she uh, 
She was supposed to be there at 7.30. She showed up at 9.45. Ooh, late. And, uh, but I was really, I might have overwhelmed her a little because she sat down and she was just taking her mittens off. And I said, come on, boys. And the waiters brought over 60 balloons I had bought her. And they said, Chippa loves Helen. And they put them on her chair and all around the table. And everybody in the restaurant applauded. That's romantic. It's really romantic. This is a first date. Yeah, she 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 only had <laughs> one. She had only gotten one mitten off before I said, "Come on, boys!" <laughs> she was trying to take her coat it off. It's strong. It's strong. Yeah, girls, it was a bit much. Crap. How yeah, did she that respond? Is. But, oh, she goes, "I'll be right back," and she left. Oh. Oh, she didn't come back. So that's one of the top on your list as far as leaving you at the restaurant. Number two. Yeah. Number two. Yeah, yeah. yeah. And then the uh, with the waiter in the bathroom. That was number uh, one. Uh, so, but you have three. You have another one. I don't want to talk about the time me and Frida Moskowitz, we were making out in the back of the restaurant, and then five of her adult sons came in and pistol whipped me. <laughs> adult sons. How old was she? I don't want to say. <laughs> oh no, <laughs> Frida Moskowitz. She was my grandmother's friend. Oh, oh wow. Oh. Yeah. You really yeah. have a wide array of uh, tastes in women. Yeah, she really liked to kiss. Oh, really? You you yeah. certainly had some some passionate Valentine's days. Thanks, Matt. I appreciate yeah. it. You damn skippy I have. I appreciate you noticing, my friend. Yeah, buddy. <laughs> now you're not a married man, but you're a handsome stud on TV, if you don't yes. mind me saying so. Yeah. So let me the ladies must throw themselves at you. So let me ask you, you're a mm-hmm. lady. And mm-hmm. if you weren't so into Chipperson, yeah. Like Chip does have my heart. The- <laughs> By the way, you? would Doctor Matt Eisenman be attractive? <laughs> Hold on, I do have my white coat. Where, where am I? Where are you? I forgot you're a doctor too. God damn it! <laughs> Women wow. love doctors. Yeah. Oh yeah. And you don't have like ten girlfriends? Not, not that I'm aware of. No. That is surprising. No. I know Valentine's Day is has been. Uh, I've 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 turned to chip. To keep me company on this day. Oh, that's what that's, I'm here to do. You know, your old friends keep you warm when your heart is feeling cold. That's right. That's why I got the fire going. Believe me, you know, I don't want to be chilly today. You know, <laughs> my lady. <laughs> but I'm wearing my festive hat, you know. Like that's that. festive. Yeah. It's oh, yeah. That's nice, a little festive. A gold uh, band. Got in a there, yeah. Nice vibe to it. Let me ask you something, Zia. How come your cup don't say nothing on it? Oh, well, you see, it's this really cool disappearing um, cup. You have to make it warm. It's because I've drank all my tea and oh. and it disappears. Look how cool that is. Oh, so when you cool. put the hot liquid in, you can see the, the, the Pekka's. It could be like a secret club with your friends. Exactly. It's the Pekka's club. Yeah, it's a cool club. What kind of tea you like? Let's go down this rabbit hole. Forget about it. <laughs> it's very interesting for people. <laughs> it's a magical cup. It, it, it makes Pekka's disappear. Yeah. <laughs> uh, yeah. All right, forget it. You've oh, opened up Chip. the floodgates. Uh, you set me up. Come on, hit it out of the park. It makes Pekka's disappear. <laughs> what is it? A Lorena Bobbitt cup? Ah, <laughs> oh, there you go. That's a pretty and good she one. She did that. A little mm. more did. reference. Uh, recent good. reference might be good, but that's that's good. OK. Oh, wait. Uh, you make peckers disappear. What are you? Uh, cancer and a prick that left no. head in Donnie <laughs> Brasco. <laughs> left. <laughs> cancer and prick. Donnie. Donnie. Come here, Donnie. You're Donnie. Cancer and a prick. <laughs> cancer and a prick. <laughs> Honey, <laughs> but all kidding aside, babe, let's let let's get let's let me uh, I get the younger people. Let's spill the tea. We're going to spill the tea. OK. Oh, no, don't spill your tea. <laughs> oh, oh, now that, that means kind of gossip. Oh, oh okay. I got oh. it. I got it. OK, I'm going to spill Makes your perfect tea. Perfect sense. What kind of tea do you like? You mint jasmine lady? Do you prefer Can an old meal? English? This chamomile? Is, yeah, chamomile is nice. This is apple cinnamon. Yeah, that's you know? cool. Chamomile sucks. 
fucking hate so, chamomile. You don't like chamomile? What's no, I chamomile? don't. Lipton tea is fine with me. I don't I, give a shit. I don't need any special tea. I'd prefer camera snack. Oh, there you go. Oh, oh, see. Or how about camera off? You know, if you got next to it, you can hand it over, you know. I just. I'm having so much fun, and then. I got to blow my nose. Chamomile, camera <laughs> snack. Oh, Matt. Yeah, you know what my favorite tea is, though? I like a hibiscus. Hibiscus is good. Yeah. It has a nice floral flavor to it. That's what I like. Flowers. Well, you're a tea mix. connoisseur. I'm yeah. really not. I only just started drinking tea this month because I'm cold Fine. as fuck. Because <clears throat> I'm really cold. <laughs> cold, <laughs> cold as fudge. You uh, cold as fudge. Fuck. Thank you. I did. Tim. I didn't fuck. want to be vulgar in front of you. Nah, I almost said fuck. Yeah, I did. Uh, vulgar. Hey, Matt, I thought I saw you. Were you uh, hosting a show where they had cameras in the courtrooms during? Um, like That was Dan Abrams. He was doing court cam. Uh, oh, that was, was also him. I, I guess a commercial came on for yeah, your show. Yeah, they were show. probably teasing because my my show was airing right after. Okay, the cameras right. right after. That yeah, was pretty he, interesting. There's oh, some yeah, crazy yeah, stuff yeah. that goes on in those courtrooms. Some oh, people don't God. like the verdicts that come down, and they isn't they, it? <laughs> they decide not to wait for the appeals court. They're going to make their voice heard. And make it heard now. And, and some people don't understand up. cursing out the judge will not get you a lighter sentence and probably gets you contempt charges. And flying over the bench, like that moment when you're midair going, oh, <laughs> yeah, this yeah. is yeah. probably a horrible idea. I'm going to stay in jail a long time for this. Oh, I, I yelled it. at a judge one time. Oh, man. Yup. Yeah. What happened? Well, I was I, I was driving my car with a suspended license, right? Uh, illegal. Driving yeah. dirty. Yeah. Driving I, dirty. I, I, yeah, I was a little tipsy, too. You know, I had like seven... 10 beers. It's like so you yeah. pulled over, right? You pulled over and they go, whose car is this? I'm like, I don't know. So I'm pulled over, right? And I go before the judge. And he's, he's trying to throw me in the pokey. And he goes, I'm going to sentence you to 90 days. And I says to him, I says, Your Honor, you know why you don't hear no gobbling? Because I don't give a turkey. Oh, Ooh. wow. Wow. You really told him. That's a good one. I, I can't imagine the judge stood for that in his courtroom. No, nah, he didn't. He gave me six months. He said I was in contempt. Yes. I thought that was I thought that meant like I was doing well. So I kept doing it. Oh, no. You thought contempt was a good thing. Like I thought that was like the <laughs> zone. I was in the zone. Right, right. You're in the contempt zone. Yo, this contempt, you know, like that's good. So I was like, it sounds yeah. a lot like content, which is happy yeah. and pleasant and nice. You're content or contempt. But I can see, see this confusion. scene. It feels like a scene from a movie. Like Chippa needing to be heard in the courtroom. Oh, yeah. You know, just having to have that moment. Oh, where he has the monologue. Right, the, right. The Oscar monologue right there. I, That's I would, right, Matt. You're right. Like, I I feel like I've written a play where I played a lawyer and my client was falsely <laughs> accused. <laughs> he was falsely <laughs> accused of selling coupons on the black market. Coupons. Yeah, the black mar there's a black market for coupons. I didn't know this. in this movie. There is. Yeah, this oh. is called the falsely accused average man. Oh, wow. Uh, and I had a big speech at the end. I'm like, if this man goes to jail, I'm going to jail and you're going to jail. I like it. It almost That's sounds powerful. like you're out of order. You're out of order. That's what every producer I pitched it to <laughs> told me. <laughs> and they're like, you can't name your client. Henry B. Fleming. It sounds too much like Henry T. Fleming was yes. the judge's name. <laughs> can't. But B is different. You can't. That's what I said, babe. I said yeah. B is different. I'm like, if you think a T is a B, you know, give me a call tomorrow. You know, I didn't. It's also like a nice homage <laughs> to that which came yeah. before. Yeah. 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 Hey, babe, your knee is showing. Oh, sorry. Oh. OK, All yeah. Done. No more of that. That was a little too much, huh? Yeah, no a more too spicy of that. You can't take it. See, yeah. that, that looks like Gryffindor or King Richard the Lionheart. It's oh, Gryffindor. It's Gryffindor. Okay. It is. Yeah, that's Gryffindor. also the Great Hall behind. Is that me. your shirt? <laughs> it's it's a dress. And oh. I figured you'd be all up on Harry Potter. I really, uh, I should be, but I really don't know much about Harry Potter. I, I watched the first one when it came out, and I was just kind of like, eh, a kids' movie. And then you know they're 
40 years old when the last one was. Done. Yeah. So, <laughs> I just, uh, yeah, I never really latched it. I was more of a Lord of the Rings guy. that was around yeah. at the same time. I like oh, Lord of the Rings. I have a map of Middle Earth on my wall. Do you? Oh, yes. I love the Lord of the Rings. Too. What's Middle Earth, babe? I never seen it. It's right in the middle of um, High Earth and Low Earth. Oh, that name fits then. <laughs> <laughs> it makes a lot of sense. Yeah. You know what? I might say much obliged. But- Today, uh, or uh, yeah, with well, the other day, uh, I was on uh, Alex Jones's show, and then uh, he, I had him on my show uh, on Thursday, last Thursday. But he looked at my background here, which is authentic; it's not a f- fake background. Right, and uh, I hate he, those. He said it looks very waspy, and he's waiting for Judge Smales to walk. <laughs> <laughs> it was very funny of oh, Alex. <laughs> I would have said to him if he oh. said that to me. Yeah, Judge Smith. Uh, go ahead. I'll be you. You be Alex. We're chilling out. All right. Yeah, I, li- I, li- I like the background you got there. Whose house is that? It looks uh, pretty waspy. Uh, what was what, Judge Smales gonna walk in? Well, it seems like somebody enjoyed Caddyshack. <laughs> oh, <laughs> nothing. Is, nothing's a bigger jab than just a plain fact or opinion that might be true. But it was a, it was a, it was a, it was a astute observation. I'll give you that. Astute observation. Thank you, Matty. I thank you. I could have just said, Hey, do I get a free bowl of soup with this? Ah, there you go. That's from Caddyshack. Yeah. Yeah. That's a good one. Remember Rodney Dangerfield in that one? I sure do. Or Lacey Underall. Do you yes. remember those people, Zia? You ever see Caddyshack? I did see Caddy Cha- Caddyshack. Um, Caddyshack. But- <laughs> wait, wait, Caddyshack. What is that? Another movie? Mistakes were made. <laughs> <laughs> is that another? Wow, you nailed her with that one. Chip. Yeah, oh, hell yeah. A good one. I don't know how you're coming back from that, Zia. <laughs> yeah, Caddyshack. Okay, now we know what your head's at. I can uh, say words good. <laughs> I'm, it gets crazy, Matt. You come on here, believe me, the wheels come off and I'm driving the bus right into Heckville. <laughs> yeah i got i got a vouch for chip on that one matt that's take, right we take a little yeah. dirt detour to darn it town oh, i can yeah. see the, the fire coming off you right now chip because you're hot that's right i yeah. feel like believe me boom boom i'm firing on all cylinders they once told me let me ask you a question so you shot your pilot so like am i gonna be in like the show it would be it, it's actually called Chipatorius is the working title of, oh. of the, the new show. We wanted to go with Take Me to the River, but apparently someone else is developing that game show. <laughs> oh, that's right. That's right. I got another one I'm working on, too. I mean, not that I like to compete with you for TV time. Oh, boy. But uh, I'm working on one called So Says You. Ooh, how do we Ooh. play? I like the title. Yeah. Yeah. I give a fact. And if you believe me, you go, X marks the spot. And if you think I'm full of tomatoes, you go, so says you. <laughs> oh, I and thought I it was like, I thought it was it. a sewing contest at first, but I like this one better. So it's it's like a so to tell you. the truth. <laughs> oh, so yeah, it's, you. It's I to tell the truth. <laughs> <laughs> and I have to <laughs> prove if, if it's. A fact by telling you how I know it. Now, the winner is the first person to get 1,500 points without <laughs> accumulating 30 demerits. Well, how? Oh. All right. So how many points do you get for a correct uh, answer? Either one or 70. <laughs> what you, the- yeah. What determines whether you get one or 70? How much time is left in the game? <laughs> okay. <laughs> I would say 70 would have to be every time. Yeah, it's happened. I've had a couple games go seven, eight hours and people are like, we're just not enjoying this. <laughs> <laughs> yeah, but it's a good game. Everybody who plays it loves it. Okay, I'll, I'll give you one. Oh, this there we go. The okay. Celebrity version. I only got a couple. And maybe if you guys got one, you could throw it at me. And then I could. Uh, hold on a second. Do we have to ring in or something or? Uh, I, you know what? Ah, uh, yeah. What kind of ring sound would you make? Sounds like you're still spitballing this whole thing. No, I'm just thinking like, hold on. All right. Here's what we do. You got to ring in. Uh, pound your computer screen. No, no. Yeah. Uh. <laughs> Lift your knee up. That I can do. 
<laughs> oh, look at that. Babe, I was just saying that so I could see your knee. Uh, oh, Chip, you got me. Okay. Uh, John Wayne's favorite food was potatoes. So <sighs> says you. Oh, someone doesn't believe me. <laughs> Where does your doubt come from? I I just think you made up that fact, Chip. I, I, I think John Wayne loved potatoes, but his favorite food had to be steaks. That's probably right. Incorrect. Or, or, or cigarettes. <laughs> really? No, his favorite food was indeed potatoes. God damn it, Daddy, your hat's falling off. Now, how are you well, going to... But to convince or do I get us. demerits? I think you, he's got to convince us. You get demerits. Uh, how do I know? His grandson told me on the bus. You you met his grandson on the bus? Yeah. Guy goes, hey, you got 50 bucks. I'm like, I don't know you. And he goes, John Wayne was my grandfather. And I'm like, well, how do I know it? He goes, because potatoes were his favorite food. I'm like, <laughs> oh, wow. You sure it wasn't Gacy? <laughs> <laughs> Maybe because <laughs> that could be confusing. Yeah, I was on a bus in Chicago and he goes, uh, why don't you come? He's having like a little clown party and whatnot. <laughs> yeah, yeah. Were you were you a young boy then? Yes, I was. I was just uh -huh. a youngster. I was like, fut, oh, fut, boy. Fut. all right. So you lose that point. You get one demerit. Okay. okay. All right. We're going to throw this one to uh, Zia. One time Mel Gibson fell asleep on the couch. I mean, I believe that for sure. Maybe more than one time. You gotta do. The, you gotta do. That. Oh, oh, sorry. Sorry, Zia. thank you, Matt. Wait, you don't believe it, or you do? I do. X, X marks. Oh, X you marks X the spot. Marks spot. Yeah, X marks the spot. Nope, you should have said so. Says you. Why? He never fell asleep on the couch. Nope. And how do I know? Because I seen an interview once where he goes, "I never slept on the couch." <laughs> never. That's it. Yep. This game Promoted sounded it. a lot more um, <laughs> exciting <laughs> when you described it. I forgot you least seven hours and 58 more minutes. <laughs> <Yeah>. <laughs> We're all going to stay up for that long, right? Uh, believe me, you see, you see how it challenges the mind. There's an oh. exchange of ideas and friendship. <laughs> friendship. You learn. We get to learn about Chippa. And that, about that's a game for that. celebrities. OK, yeah. how about this one? Right. Ben Vereen was originally supposed to play King George in the King's speech. Uh, uh, I say so says you. It's true. <laughs> Come on. You get a demerit. Ben Vereen, he, they casted him and they fired him after shooting for four months because the queen said that my father didn't look like him. Hmm. And then they cast <laughs> Jeff Firth. Yeah, yeah, it, it was. He was very good. I didn't think so. Kept stuttering. around like, fuck this shit. <laughs> What's he saying? Blah, blah, blah. Just fucking say it already. He had a, a stutter, a speech impediment. Give me a game would have been perfect it. for that role. God oh, damn yeah. it. <laughs> Why would they put him in a movie if he was doing that? <laughs> All right. How about this? Zia, you ready? Now, let me give this one to Matty Iceman. Oh, okay. I'm ready. I'm ready, Chippa. Before Gregory Peck was an actor, he was a serial killer. Well, it, it might be plausible, but I'm going to think we would have heard something. Somebody would have investigated him. His Oscar would have been taken away. So Good. I'm going to say, so says you. Good deductive and you reasoning. Will lose your demerit because you are correct. He wasn't. Now, how do you know? <laughs> Somebody went up to him and said, Can you tell me about the body one more time? <laughs> All right, let's do some Columbo. <laughs> oh, some Columbo. So, right, he walks up and he goes, My wife loves your picture. And every time she watched To Kill a Mockingbird, she'd get all creamy down there. <laughs> I don't think he said that. But no, he wasn't. I googled it. Gregory Peck, serial killer. Oh, yeah. It wasn't in his Wikipedia of early history of Gregory yeah. Pecka. <laughs> being fresh, Comey, but I'm that's why I love fresh. you. I'm being that's a little... 
I believe he was a soda jerk. Oh, that ain't nice. That's what I heard in on the honeymooners. Gregory Peck was a soda jerk. Who's this, this guy, guy named Soda? He was an usher down at the music hall. I heard <laughs> that too. They were discovered. Yeah, Mr. Fabersham. So when he was an actor. Okay, how about this? Hmm. All right, Zia, you like pop culture. I do. Okay. Now everybody knows that Jeff Reacher is played by Tom Cruise. Mm-hmm. Jeff Reacher? Yep. <laughs> now, originally, the only reason Tom Cruise is playing him is because Gerard Depardieu said no. <laughs> I'm going to say, so says you. And you would be right, my dear. Mm. Oh, he good. was never even considered because yeah. he's old and fat. I was going to say he might be a little old for that mm. role. And old. fat. And- <laughs> Out of shape. He's an odd looking sort. Yeah, he is. He has a big, dumb Stonehenge head. <laughs> <laughs> I met him once. I screamed that at him. <laughs> what, what did he do? Well, he just he was on a red carpet. He kept walking. They asked me to leave. They did dragged me a, out. Did, did you still get a photo with him? Yeah, yeah, yeah. There's a picture of me being dragged away and waving at him. And you can see my lips. I'm going, Jera. And they were being seen back the in picture. his head. Yeah, yeah, he yeah. He did what? He did Christopher Columbus, that movie. And yeah. then it was Green Card. Wasn't that his breakout? The oh, where he came to America? Yeah, Green, that was, was like his comedy. What yeah, was Green, Green Tomatoes or something? Oh, Green Card. Oh. Yeah. He had like a three-year window. Yeah, very short where time where he was famous. Yeah. yeah. He's, He's in Russia around. now. He lives what? in Russia. Yep. Oh, boy. Vladimir Putin uh, gave him citizenship Ooh. because he was going to leave because of the taxes in France or some shit. Well, kid, I mean, X I know. X marks the spot. X marks the spot. That's right. You heard that, right? I did That's, hear that. That's true. Believe me, my my first show was Gerard Depardieu trivia. And uh, <laughs> I had like. 1,200 Gerard Depardieu questions, and uh, they wouldn't, nobody wanted to. The studio to said that's a Depard don't. <laughs> <laughs> no, they actually said that's Depard do do, and we mean shit. They throw me out of the room. <laughs> okay. All right. See, uh, let me ask you a question because you look so lovely in your plaid oh, outfit. Thank you. Wait, you I was. Go ahead, babe. What? I was gonna say I was thinking red for Valentine's Day, you know. See, that's why you sort of fits. That's why you're my favorite. I can't tell where the outfit ends and the chair begins. You look like the magical chair lady from town or something. <laughs> <laughs> the magical chair lady from what? From town. Imagine my cup. I don't know what to say. You know. <laughs> I think he's getting a little confused with thinner the movie. <laughs> yeah. Oh, okay. Okay. Now is this true? Eh, hold on a second. Daddy has like, don't look. Daddy has like, oh, God, that's like. Coming. Oh, my God. Okay. No one shows these parts of their, their lives on, on pod, podcasts. Yeah. You should that's cover me that on up. the shirt. OK. Oh, cool. Now, is this true? You know who Angela? Uh, do you know who Angela Bassett is, babe? I do. She's an actress, right? Yeah. Marvelous mm-hmm. actress. Don't, uh, don't hound her. <laughs> <laughs> Anyway, Chip, you're saying. <laughs> Angela Bassett. Okay, I'll do the question. <laughs> oh, no. Was that the question? What? Oh, no. I fucked it Of course he would have said that. Oh, Chip, I apologize. I should have known that's where you were going. Angela Bassett once fell... In love with a man named Ted Hound, but didn't marry him because she didn't want a name to be Angela Bassett Hound. <laughs> <laughs> oh, this marks yeah. the spot for oh, sure, yeah. right? Oh, that yeah. is good. Yep, it's true. And it's the <laughs> same reason she didn't marry Larry Case. Because <laughs> she didn't want to be Angela Basket Case. Basket Case. <laughs> Damn it. Uh, Gotta cut the part out where you I'm sorry, Chip. I stole I my know you stole my question. Yeah. Who sent yeah. you my questions? <laughs> no one said that. I just thought it would be a joke you would um you would appreciate. Hold and on it turns a out it was true. 
Let's cut that part out. That's the cut thing if I'm ever zipping through. All right. So listen, uh, we'll get back to a couple of questions. Now, do you have any questions for us? Me? Matt Eisman always has a little bit of a game with him. Yeah, no? You know what? Uh, no, I was going to say, Chip, what's your advice uh, for people looking to find love on Valentine's Day? Good question. Yeah, I would say open up your heart and find the person that you love. Wow. That's really profound, Chip. Well, what I would do is like, I have like a lady friend and I tell her like, you know, you are my friend. And if you ever want to see what a real relationship is like, Oof. I'll show you. Cause she that obviously- guy you're dating is no right. good for you. Yeah, yeah. yeah. Play the long game. Do you recommend like being friends with a girl for like 10 years, hoping she's going to break up with her boyfriend to be with you? Yup. And a lot of times I'll just sit there and kind of swing my legs looking for the signal. What's the signal? Chip, I I think you got a lot of your... um your technique from young Jimmy Norton. Oh, titty boy Norton. <laughs> sounds, this sounds like something Jimmy would have done as oh, a kid. Oh, titty boy Norton who sat there on the shopping carts when the girl he had a crush on said, I have a crush on somebody. And stupid Norton said, who? And she goes, well, he has glasses. And little Norton's hot. And, and he goes, really? And she goes, yeah, John. And he goes, oh, oh he's a nice guy. Oh, yeah. You thought it was you for a sec or he thought it was him for a second. Oh, he thought it was him. She was his dream girl, even oh, though she had a mullet. That's very sad. <laughs> yeah. Norton fell in love with Joe Dirt when he was 12. <laughs> <laughs> did he ever try writing secret admirer notes? Oh, yeah, he did. Oh, boy. Uh, yeah. As a matter of fact, you know, as a matter of fact, a girl. <laughs> Norton says in air quotes. Uh, <laughs> yesterday, he received uh, in his Instagram, his first girlfriend sent him something that he had written when he was 18. No way. He, he believes it was like a haiku or something. He's not sure. Do you do you do you know it, Chip? What's it's, haiku Japanese for fucking embarrassing? <laughs> no, it's what you say when you see Esther. Uh, <laughs> uh, this is what it is. It came in oh. through an Instagram message yesterday. At the top line, it says laughter. And then under that, it says uncontrolled comma oh, I, I, thought it, I thought it said laughter and under it said none of which you will read in this letter <laughs> <laughs> no it's a short little four or five lines oh, okay. but it's shaped a almost like a diamond like a haiku mm -hmm. <laughs> so laughter and, and underneath then... it says uncontrolled free wow and then under that it says wait I don't know what that says. <laughs> Granny's milling. I don't know. Granny's. Oh, I can't read it. G R or Gunny's. Ah, I can't. Can't read it. Uh, Th there's just something. And something. then does it say anything else after that? Yeah, it that says contorting. And under that, triumph, rejoice emotions lament and then under that it says shaking wandering tearing and then under that it says sentence well those are just words i know they are you know what it should have said <laughs> bullet and palette <laughs> <laughs> oh it, my it sounds like god the, the boy who wrote that though had a big heart he just didn't know how to express it that's true he did uh, have a big heart and a big mouth that he loves to shove peckers in. <laughs> oh, big heart, tiny little brain. <laughs> <laughs> big heart, tiny brain, average genitals, and a oh, <laughs> boogie filled guy. finger. Oh, <laughs> well, that's cute. I'm wondering what the GR thing I'm is. I'm dying to know. I Grand can't. Uh, it looks did, like. Did she say Mills? anything when she sent it to you? No, he wrote her back, but she's uh, in another country, so she didn't get back to him yet. It looks like G R. General G Mills. 
<laughs> cereal? <laughs> cereal reference? Grimmies. Did she leave the Small country way. right after receiving this? <laughs> <laughs> no, I got it. I know what it says. Oh, oh. I got it. All right, cool. All right, what is it? Huh? What is it? What is the GR thing? Oh, you want to hear it? Oh. Yes, we do. Okay, first one, laughter, and then on uncontrolled, free, and then under that, grinning, smiling, oh, reporting. grinning, smiling. That makes sense. So you wanted to show yourself as a happy person, a fun person. On top of the emotions of right. sadness. So that was like, uh, so it's shaped like a diamond. So laughter and everything and happiness and stuff is at the top of the pyramid. And underneath are all the kind of. The emotions, the, the emotion. turmoil, the set. Yeah. I wanted to show her that I was deep. Ooh, deep. Why am I she saying I? It I was wish you were deep six feet. <laughs> <laughs> that it suffice. Yeah. Stupid feet sticking out. <laughs> Little Shelto Adidas. Look at my fat laces, babe. Suck my pecker. Embarrassment. Did it did it work oh. out for him? You know, it's funny you should ask, babe. Now don't get all jelly. But she is the first guy that uh Jim She's ever, the uh, first guy. Oh. <laughs> I swear <laughs> you just said that. Yes, I did, but she, I'll tell you why. Hey, because it's a Freudian slip and Norton is a fruit. But honestly. <laughs> She was she was definitely not the first guy. She was the first girl that Norton ever had sex with. And I was thinking, oh. and then she started banging one of his friends. Oh, they oh. always do that. Yeah, that's not Especially very nice. back then. It's a very heartbreaking time. Your, your early um, 30s. <laughs> <laughs> yeah. No, I was I was younger. Oh, OK. Chip, so wait, sorry. this letter worked. This haiku worked. It might have been when I tried to get her back. Wait, I didn't, uh, hold on. Uh, Cut that part when he. Oh, oh when me. he. Yeah, yeah. When when Jim tried to get her back. Yeah, I wouldn't do that. I would have wrote her a letter and said, fuck you. Yeah, yeah. You take me or leave me. I don't care. Yep. Right. I said that Jim. before. What are you drinking? What's that? He asks ironically. Oh, it's a little Shiraz from uh, the great uh, country of Australia. I like him. He's a ah. good comedian, a friend of mine, too. <laughs> Sherrod. It's not Sherrod. It's Shiraz, a wine from oh. um, from the Ed Australia. Hi. Oh, um, um, Shiraz. Hi. Now, you ever I, been to Australia, Maddie? I have. Yeah, I've been to Sydney, Melbourne and Brisbane. I'm a big fan. Big fan I, of Down Under. Let me Down ask you a question. There. Did you do the, the uh, Sydney Harbor Bridge Walk? Uh, no, I did the Sydney Tower. What's the Sydney town? Well, who is she? You know, <laughs> uh, it's the tallest building in Sydney. So I think it's like uh, 150 meters, something like that. How much is a meter? I don't know. I mean, I called about a meter, you know, uh, <laughs> how it's like big almost is 500 feet, I think. All right. That's probably 40 something stories. He says uh, in, in a guessing format. I think yeah. around that. Yeah. So you get to see the bridge and see Sydney Harbor. From I was scared as a mug. I was yeah. up on top of that bridge <clears> and uh, I was looking down at all the cars underneath and I was scared as a mug. Wow, really? Yeah. Nothing to be scared of. I mean, I'm I made sure everybody laugh. Properly. <laughs> no, but I was like, you're tethered to it and you're walking way over the top of the span. Oh, that's impressive, though. You got <clears> out of your <throat> comfort zone, Chippa. And yeah, but I kept going, nice. hey, it's nice to be on a bridge, said the dentist. You know, I just kept repeating uh, that. Just jokes about a bridge, like bridge work. Yeah, like, hey, where's Sydney? And why, why are we on his bridge? You know, I, yeah, I kept, uh, boom, I was what firing are we playing, him out. What are we playing cards up here? You know, bridge. Yeah. Oh, that would have been a good one. God yeah, what yeah. is this, like a little piece of music that gets you from the chorus to the verse? <laughs> you got to go back now just for that joke. Yeah, uh, uh, Ah. You're walking on the bridge and you're like, oh, the suspense. Oh, wow. Yeah. Yeah. There you go. I could have said that, but I didn't. <laughs> I don't know if it's a suspension bridge. I, though, I don't so. know either. That's it yeah. didn't matter. There's Maybe. no reason to yell at her. She's doing the <laughs> she's a nice girl. 
I'm sorry, Wow, what Zia. a good Beautiful. friend Chip is. Yeah. What a good friend, Zia. Yeah, yeah. Chip is such a great... He's he. I do talk to him when I'm having, like, relationship mm. troubles and Definitely stuff. Definitely need oh, to yeah. talk. Yeah, the first one I turn to. You ever need to talk? Ugh. Imagine a heart-to-heart talk with Chip. What are you getting out of that? Such such good good advice. Getting good advice. Great yeah. advice. Yeah. Hey, seriously, all kidding aside, I'm really I give good advice. Tell me your Trump. This is how I'd set it up. You and me were sitting down. You know, I light a candle just because that's like people are more comfortable communicating. And mm-hmm. I would say, babe, dollar for your troubles. When, and, I, and if what if I was like, well, you know, my boyfriend really, I feel like he doesn't really listen to me, you know, what? You go, he what? must be crazy. <laughs> what? I wasn't what I didn't hear you. <laughs> yeah, sorry, I got my iPad on, you know, no, wait, I fucked up. Hold <laughs> I on. I, meant my, to, I was looking at Twitter. My I no, um, oh. I, I said I, I got my iPad on, but that would be silly. That doesn't. Yeah. God damn it. But OK, so you say he doesn't listen to me mm-hmm. and I would say, he don't know what he's got. He's crazy. <laughs> what kind of guy wouldn't listen to you? Boy, he should be lucky to have you oh. talking near him. <laughs> See, so such good re- reassurance and advice. You the need- only reason I'm cringing so much is because I know I've done this in my past. <laughs> oh, I was that guy. And- like, oh, no. Yeah. <laughs> Oh, like I could get her by being the good guy. And Listen, the- let me give you this mixtape with some air supply and Barry Manilow to show you how I feel yeah. about you. Not realizing she wanted the piece of shit guy. Like that's what, yeah. you know, you mixtape. Mixtape is right, though. Matty Iceman understands. I've given a few mixtapes in my day. Yeah. And uh, yeah, they usually have like venom and stuff like that. And I'll be like, listen to the third song. I cut myself to it. <laughs> Would you put any SFPs on there? Nah, because then all of a sudden she's just going to see me as a celebrity. Yeah. And not just as Lyle. You thought this through, Chippa. Yeah. Like, I don't want to be seen as larger than life. Hold on, if Norton keeps eating, you know. Uh, <laughs> so, babe, let me give you another piece of advice. I'm feeling like Uh-oh. a flow. This is good. Vibe. Yeah, yeah. It's a tug mm-hmm. of war between two hearts. Oh, if we if you were talking to me for advice as your friend. Oh, oh, no. OK, I'm sorry. I was I was waiting for the next piece of advice. Um, OK, let's see. Um, like I'm just hanging. I'm chilling. I'm like, hey, babe, as you drink, you know, let's have a soda. Let's see what else do people complain about in relationships? Um, yeah, what's up, babe? How's the relationship? He never you know, he just doesn't ever like take me anywhere. Mm. He doesn't what, take me on dates. Crazy. <laughs> um, he doesn't understand what he's got in front of him. God, a guy like that should realize how lucky he is. I'd take you on trips. <laughs> this isn't advice. <laughs> it's very well, you, reassuring, though, you know, it's, like, no, it's just trying to <laughs> pander to you to get your attention. And maybe you got to tell him interest. Here's my advice. I would say, hey, I need to go on a trip or I'm going to go with a friend who appreciates me. <laughs> mm. Are you going to be that friendship? Where would you want to go? <laughs> how about how about France? Oh, we. <laughs> <laughs> I see England. I see France. Oh, yeah, that's the underpants. Well, that's a little <laughs> salty, but it's that's cute. A good one. I like yeah. that one. Yeah. I mean, we're just friends, right? But we could go to like Venice or something and sit in one of the boats and talk. Mm-hmm. Yeah. <laughs> yeah. Yeah. Could you imagine? <laughs> oh, that would be wonderful. Yeah, yeah, just two friends experience it like kind of like the, the, the Soprano wives. Right. When uh, when they went. went to well, how France. romantic are you, Chippa? Like taking her to the most romantic city on Earth? Like, ah, on a yeah. boat ride? I mean, we're just haikus? friends. We're just friends. Mm-hmm. I mean, look, if your heart begins to change, who's to say? Hmm. I mean, Chip, you've already got the fedora and everything, too. This is shaping up really nicely. What about yeah. hotel accommodations? Mm-hmm. You would be totally, totally. I would respect your space. Like, I would stay on my half of the bed. You stay on your <laughs> half of the bed. 
For sure. And there's a fold out couch even. You, I, and if you said to me, Chipper, get on there, even though I got a really bad back and it would hurt a lot and I'd probably be <laughs> screaming and throughout the evening, I would do it if that made <gasps> if that made you more comfortable. Right. Or, or we could do the thing where, you know, we just have two different blankets, you know, like you have one blanket and I have another blanket. Mm. So we're not under oh. the same blanket, you know, because then mm. that's like friends do that. Right. Like, like two it. burritos in a bag. Yeah, exactly. That's right. Yeah. Yeah. But sometimes I did that one time and I just couldn't resist because I broke a little wind and I had to lift my blanket <laughs> no. and poof it. So it went over. Oh, oh no. <laughs> yeah. Does that happen when you're sleeping a lot, Chip? It does a lot because. Someone told me, quit eating ice cream and drinking milk before you go to bed, Lyle. <laughs> mm. Not a dairy. Yeah, yeah I'm funny. very lactose intolerant. I don't even know I'm doing it. I'll be in mid kiss and all of a sudden you hear. <laughs> oh, Jesus. One of them little hot jokers. Yeah, yeah. <laughs> hot joke. All right, listen, before we get out of here, because uh, believe me, I can sense the inmates are running the asylum, says Chipper. A uh, couple more questions here. Oh, this one. Here we go. Okay, here we go. Okay, uh, so <laughs> says you or X marks the spot. Elvis's favorite show was Bowling for Dollars. I'm gonna say X marks the spot. Well, then you would receive a demerit. Oh, mm. damn it. He used to tug his peck at a Dinah Shore. <laughs> Uh, what was the, wasn't she on Jurassic Park? <laughs> <laughs> no, no, no. Snooky used to live on her. <laughs> <laughs> you ever seen yeah. uh, Smokey and the Bandit? I heard about it, but never actually saw it. I saw mm. pieces of it. <laughs> yeah, it's really good. I heard, yeah. yeah. He's bound and down, loaded up and trucking. Jerry That's Reed. The- no, it's me. I just said that. No, oh, no, I know. But Jerry Reed sings the song in the movie. Oh, OK. Yeah. My mother used to cover my ears during the salty language. Babe, you ever see it? Mm-mm. Oh, my God. What? That's that's when I missed. Oh. oh, come over. We could sit and watch it. Dude, we'll that's what friends. I was going to say. Don't don't listen to it. He's only going to try <laughs> to smooch with you. I'm oh. not a C blocker. Yeah. Come over. I got an Afghan. We'll eat a little bit of popcorn. Have some oh. laughs. Popcorn? What kind of popcorn? <sighs> what do you like? I'll get it. Kettle corn? Fucking hate kettle corn. <laughs> <laughs> I fucking hate it. Kettle chips. Anything with kettle. Fucking Herbal. piece of shit kettle corn. Ooh, it's sweet corn. <laughs> Kettle corn can eat I like a good pecker. caramel corn, like Cracker corn. Jacks. Good, yeah. Me too. That's good stuff. Crunch and munch. Crunch and munch. Remember Screaming Yellow Zonkers? What was what that? What were those? Oh, right. I think I just checked <laughs> in as the geriatric <laughs> son of a bitch that I oh, Movie popcorn. <laughs> movie popcorn with a, a ton of butter on it. That is oh. what I, I miss. I miss uh, going to the theaters and having that right now. Oh, you cut the bottom out of the oh container. You put it in. <laughs> <laughs> no, you do that right. And then you do it before you get all your popcorns on the floor and you leave a little trail <laughs> no, so you Jim. can make it back. You got to wait till you're in your seat next oh, to your date. Mm. And then she'll reach over and grab some popcorn. And well, there's a surprise. I misunderstood bite. because yeah. one time the guy gave me the bucket and he goes, want me to fill this up? And I, punched it out and I handed it back to him and I'm like, fill it up. And it just was an empty yep. thing of popcorn with a mess on the floor. Yeah. Yeah. Matt, All have right. you ever thought about since like it's Valentine's Day and stuff? Have you ever thought about doing like the dating apps, Bumble or Tinder, any of those? Yeah, things? I, I, I'm, I'm yeah, I'm trying <laughs> going slow. <laughs> have you I, met? I don't anyone? think I have chips game. I, I don't honestly I, chip. That's what. I, so I'm on the dating apps. Whatever. Me too. But how do I meet someone, mm. Chip, in public? Because I, I, I get a little shy about my mm. opening line. I don't have a good opening line, Chip. I would love to have one if I saw a girl I was interested in just out in public being like, what do I say? Mm. I would pull down. I would wear my mask, right? Because I am responsible. Oh, and okay. I would walk Very over good. and I would say to her, if I pull down my mask, then will you see me? Oh, my God. Wow. Oh. Would that work, Matt? I said, 
do not do not look at this. Wait, you on see my it, face. You're the one I'd be saying it to. <laughs> that's right. I think so, because it, immediately you're like, oh, that's a really that guy's really deep. He's probably really yeah. sensitive and understanding. If I pull down my mask, then will you see me? Because this thing on my face is a covering. The mask is what I wear for the rest of the day. Oh, God. Wow. So his, his face is the mask, man. Yeah. Yeah. Oh, God. As deep that's as that's a- better oh. than laughter, <laughs> grinning, <laughs> smiling. <laughs> <laughs> laughter, grinning, smiling, contortion, pain. Contortion, Boo. pain. Yeah. Sounds like when Spock's doing a mind melt. <laughs> Laughing, contortion, pain. <laughs> yeah. Just cold. blurting words it's out. So cold. It sounds like clues to the $25,000 pyramid. Yes. Uh, <laughs> laughing, contortion, pain. Uh, and the question is, things an asshole says. <laughs> the Norton's picture shows up. <laughs> <laughs> Okay, one more question here. Uh, this is a good one. All right. <laughs> All right. Uh, they're remaking Clockwork Orange with the oh. cast of Big Bang Theory. Oh, God, I hope not. So says you. Ah, somebody won. Somebody won. Mm. You're right. But how That's funny cool. would it be if they did that? They'd have to call it like uh, Clockwork Universe or something. Clockwork Orgy. <laughs> Mm. That's vulgar, babe. I don't like that. <laughs> sorry, Clark Chip. Sorry. Movie. Keep it clean. I think that might actually already yeah. be a movie. <laughs> it probably is. So yeah. She says like she hasn't watched it 250 million times. Mm. If that, it's funny, it would be like Clockwork Bananas or something. Mm. Mm. Yeah, Clockwork Nerds. <laughs> yeah. <laughs> hey, um, me droogies. And then they just go and uh, go on the computer for a while. Yeah, and then they sit there and talk about like you know Big Bang or something like that. I, but they would definitely be able to do better marketing, like Tropicana, Clockwork Orange Juice. Oh yeah, <laughs> always looking at the marketing side. You there know what? Very Clockwork smart. Orange juice, dude. You should let me come on your rescue show. I'll help <laughs> narrate it. I'll I'll keep in my own personal experiences. I'll tell you what they like. If I seen cops chasing a a perpa, I'll be like, yo. Look at them chasing the purple. They should right now be careful because they got to uh, look out because he might go around the corner, get a helicopter. I help you out, man. So if you got to go to Chip, the bathroom, I, I would love it. But I feel like my show is too small for you. I feel like you uh, need a much bigger forum to share your wisdom and stories with the people. I mean, I have stories about everything. I mean, like, you know, ambulance drivers and all that. Like, I knew a girl who was an ambulance driver. And mm. uh, yeah, yeah, my friend used to sell a meth. And eventually she <laughs> flipped the ambulance over. She's dead now. But I oh, can still tell you that story. It's a terrible story. Yeah, terrible it was in story. Melba, was it? No, 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 no. Julie Bergemeister. Bergemeister. Bergemeister, <laughs> Meister Burger. <laughs> Julie Bergemeister. What are you drinking? Don't get fucking suited on this show. What are you drinking? He says water with electrolytes. Oh, uh, water. <laughs> I had mouth <laughs> surgery. I'm not supposed to laugh. So that's why I look like I'm. Oh, palsy. what oh. happened? Did you get hurt? What happened? Uh, my gums. I have old, old, uh, old man gums. So I had to oh, did they go in and give them a good cleaning? That's what they <laughs> yes, do. Yes, they did. They what were, did uh, they're good, clean boys. They numb it and they go under the gums uh, and they clean it. Yeah. Awful. Uh, like they Wrigley's do your whole mouth. It. <laughs> <laughs> or boobla. Uh, that's a good one. Yes. Yeah, boobla. And you so, said you had to get stitches. <clears throat> yeah, they they. Uh, graft. They took some tissue off the roof of my mouth and put it on my gums. Oh, they did it that way because yeah. sometimes they use a cadaver's. Uh, yeah, gums. they're like you get better results with it from the roof of your mouth. It's just it's a lot more painful. So oh, it sounds. You know, but I'm, I'm really tough. I never complain or make a big oh, deal yeah. out of these things or act like I'm in pain and, and suffering and need sympathy. I can't imagine so, which is that. working really well in the dating. One but one bowl of Captain Crunch in the roof of my mouth hurts. <laughs> I can't imagine them gouging a piece out of it to a user. It was miserable. That's got to oh, be wait. deader than a deader, better than a dead guy's gums in your mouth. That's though. a little Yeah, <laughs> yeah cuz God knows who knows what he liked before, you know. <laughs> That's yeah. true. All of a sudden you walk by the hot dog aisle. Yeah. <laughs> <laughs> your gum your gum is screaming. Yeah. Yeah, hey, love yeah, one of them. 
So let me ask you something. You had when did you have your surgery? Uh, 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 it was like uh, now. Yes, it's Valentine's Day. So probably three weeks ago. Oh, OK. And it's still sore. How huh? when is the tenderness going to ease up? I, I don't know. I'm I'm I think I feel pain oh, more yeah. than most people. So, oh. you know, I carry it with me. It's, it's like a burden. But You have a need to talk. Yeah. Oh, God. <laughs> Z is available. <laughs> Yeah. No way. Whoa. No, that's not what I was saying. Oh, no. I'm sorry. Jeff. I don't want to hook the two of them up. Believe me, I don't no, need the, no, the no. doctor competing with me. I don't think anyone can compete with what I've heard from Chip in terms of your heart, your words and your ability to be vulnerable. Yeah, true. Tell your first dates. I'm, now, Z, I don't know if you'd go for this, but a lot of times if I'm on a first date, I hold the girl's chin and I'll say to a don't hurt me because I've been hurt before. You know, <laughs> it, oh, let wow. It, let a tear come down. Girls love that chip right there. That's when your heart just melts and you're like, oh, oh I want to save this boy. I want to protect him. Oh, first, first mm -hmm. date. Yeah. Yeah. First I'm date. sure I've changed. I've been hurt before. <laughs> I thought women wanted, you know, a little more of a guy that was kind of in control, a little stronger, we'll a little see, more in control of his emotions. That's the thing, though. Chip has that hard edge, too. You oh, know, so you get both. Yeah. I mean, look at his background. Yeah. If you need Every a rock boy, has his soft side. <laughs> That's right. Yeah. Exactly. I could be yeah. a bad boy. It's on like a, first a love date. ballad, like a, a, a rock <laughs> Monster ballad. Ballads. Monster depends ballad. On the, depends on the vibe. You know, I've been on dates before and like I don't show that side yet. Like yeah. I'll tell a girl like you see, you don't understand. I'm complicated. Like mm -hmm. Yeah, like you look at me and you see sensitivity, but I can fucking kill if I have to. Oh, wow. Mm -hmm. That might be a little frightening to a, a new prospect. Yeah, see, I know. You need a guy, though, that can protect you. It's mm. scary being a girl, especially if you're a small girl. You got oh. to be really careful out there. You need someone that can protect you. That's you why I did great big frat girls. <laughs> <laughs> Yeah, believe me, I, I fucked Frederica Bimble a couple 14. times. <laughs> oh, no. Oh, man. Now, you got to be careful of what story, because I told the dangerous story I thought the girl would get a kick out of. But it just I want to hear this story now, Chip. Who doesn't? Yeah. I just, I told her one time, I said, I was, <laughs> this, uh, I said, I'll kill if I have to. Mm. And she goes, when have you ever killed? I said, well, one time. <laughs> I was at uh, my grandmother's house and she had this bird and it kept making all kinds of noise and whatnot. So I opened up the cage and I punched it real hard. <laughs> oh, why did you punch the bird? No, I punched my grandmother's bird to death. I thought she would be turned on. <laughs> she just started crying at the table. And she left. <laughs> Is that number three? <laughs> No, because oh. I told her like I thought like her eyes were open. I thought like she was getting turned on. So I told her the whole story. how I punched her <laughs> as hard as I could. Oh. And my knuckles actually felt the metal and the feathers at the back. <laughs> I think maybe Chip shouldn't be allowed around oh. animals anymore. I love oh. animals, babe. But the bird was making all kinds of noise. <laughs> That's what oh. they, do. Mark, mark, they do. I didn't know that. I thought it was being disrespectful. <laughs> <laughs> Was it what, a parrot? Oh. Was it saying stuff to you? What? I don't know what it was. Nah, parrots are big, right? Mm -hmm. Nah, this is like this big. <laughs> oh, no, that's like a parakeet. Yeah. Fut, 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 fut. I was like, I can't handle it anymore. Poor All bird. Right. Uh, you so killed sad. Matt. I'll cut that part out. We don't need that because all of a sudden <laughs> the bird people are going to start yelling at me like, oh, you know. yeah, Peter. Um, pumpkin eater. Uh, <laughs> I mean, I can't help it. My mind constant, like a, tra like a train stream of consciousness. Yeah, yeah, that's what I do, man. I just kind of let it all. I'm a, a conduit. <laughs> Sometimes I can't do it. <laughs> <laughs> uh, that's a good one. <laughs> oh, Chipperson. Oh, Chipperson. Uh, all right, listen. <laughs> Now, Matt, your show, I was watching it one Friday and I'm like, that's fucking Matt's show. And I really liked it. But damn it, Matt, it's a good show. Thanks, buddy. 
I What's do it called? That. You're a Rescue good narrator, camp. but you don't talk too much. You talk a little, you set it up. Boom, let's go back to Louisiana and see what's happening with that. Boom, let's go over here and see what's happening with that. Boom, let's go back to Miami. Boom, boom, boom. Fucking boom. show moves. Show moves. I like That's that. Live Rescue. It's on hiatus so right now. Rescue cams on Friday nights, which is the clip show. Nonstop action. Similar to a court cam show, but it's mm-hmm. first responders saving. Oh, yeah. Saving. Those are great, man. People yeah. like seeing what people those are, are doing great. out there. Yeah, yeah, those are great shows. Most of them anyway, have a happy ending. Is- yeah, when is it on? Mm. Friday nights? What time? Friday nights, 10, uh, 10 p.m. Eastern on A&E. How long is it? Uh, half an hour. We have two episodes every night, so you get an hour, an hour awesome. of, of rescue game. And now, Anthony, everybody can check you out at uh, Compound Media. I heard your show was very good with Geno and with Aaron and with uh, uh, Jeff Jameson. I heard you guys went down uh, and you did Atlantic City. And it was we did amazing. Atlantic City. We're doing uh, a club in Pennsylvania and then we'll be doing Boston and Cleveland. We're doing all these comedians of the compound shows all over the country because, you know, people want to laugh. They want to get out and have some fun, go to That's a club right. and, and, you know, have some laughs. And you're smart. Do the ones where you don't have to fly this way. Fucking save a little bit of fucking cake. <laughs> oh, don't. No, no, no. I'm not driving to Cleveland. I'll fly to Cleveland. Oh, OK. Yeah. Yeah. And then Austin, do Texas. We're doing one down there. You're going to do one in Philly. Uh, yeah, eventually. Yeah. Uh, nice. yeah, yeah. Yeah. Eventually we're doing one in Pennsylvania, but it's not in Philly mm-hmm. uh, coming up. So, yeah, a lot of fun. And then, of course, all the shows, uh, Aaron and Gino. Just did their 600th show on the network uh, wow. uh, the other day, last uh, Thursday, I believe. Uh, so, yeah, we're, we're having a lot of fun over there. That's good. And uh, how's Dave Landau? Dave is great. He's been uh, doing, you know, on the road doing comedy. And, of course, uh, my co-host, which uh, he, he does that job very well. Very. Wait, are you guys gentleman. not in the same room together? No, we are. He uh, sometimes, though, he, he's out on the road or, or uh, in another state. But for the most part, he's in studio with me in New York. Oh, yeah. OK. Yeah. Dude, when you go down to Austin, Texas, right? Yeah. You ought to try to do fucking uh, uh, Jerry Joe, Rogan's show. Joe, it's Joe Jerry Rogan. Rogan. Mm. Yeah, yeah. Yeah, we're we're working that out so I could do a Jerry Rogan's show. Mm. Trust me, he wants his ratings to go up. He keeps saying to me, oh, yeah, come please. down. He's, he's hurt. This- he doesn't have any any listeners or viewers, of course. He says, Come on, sit in the place and we'll tell a few story. I'm like, I'm fucking busy. What am I gonna do? The tears to come out of my eyes. I can't do it. <laughs> <laughs> and Zia with the yes. outfit. Uh, where can everybody find you? Like, let's just say people go to see is really something else. She's really tomorrow's tomatoes, not yesterday's tomatoes. Uh, where Ooh. can I see? Where can I see you? Where can I see you? See you? Where I can have, I see you? I have a new show on my Twitch uh, channel where we watch clips and we call it Zia next Tuesday. And then I, oh, I wait. Oh, that's a good get one. it. <laughs> it sounds like almost it. like see you next Tuesday and you don't want those. Yeah. Letters. That's vulgar. Yeah, that, no, but that it's almost Zia sounds like Tuesday. Zunt. <laughs> That's what it is. <laughs> was it? Wasn't it the music player from Microsoft? <laughs> yeah. Oh God. That- yeah, I think you're right. I think Matt's right. Did they really name it that? Oh no. <laughs> yeah. He's not old enough to remember the Zune. Oh my God. <laughs> Zune. Yeah. So let me ask me. you, babe. Who's this we? Um, oh, it's just Uh-oh. me and, and and the people who watch my channel, the, the Twitch channel. Um, oh, okay. You don't yeah, have yeah, like a co-host viewers. or something. No, no co-host. It's just me on that. Okay. And then I do have a co-host on. So that's twitch.tv slash Zealand. If you want to check that out, I stream Mondays, Tuesdays and Thursdays and Sundays. Okay. And then uh, it's Eric Nagel. I do have a co-host on that. So it's Eric mm. and, and Giddles and that's anywhere you can find podcasts. And then if you oh, want to follow me on social media, it's at Zia underscore land. And Z is with an X. Don't it start is. putting a Z, you bunch of dumb fucks. Because <laughs> oh, <God. laughs> who would spell Zia with the Z? Jeez. Yeah, <laughs> it sounds like an X. Believe me. So how is he rock before we go? How is he? He's good. He's good. I did the show just before this. Why isn't he on this program more? What's this whole friction thing? I don't, I don't know. Friction. I love little son of a bitch. Well, I would, that um, thing. 
<laughs> we that big. There's a lot of friction. Yeah, I mean, I mean, all kidding aside, let's be honest. Oh We're talking God. fucking neutron star. But I didn't want to say. Uh, but tell him I want him on. I will. I wouldn't hurt one hair on his fucking head. <laughs> what about a lot of hairs? My man, yeah, maybe I would with my bumper, you know. All right. <laughs> anyway, Zia, everyone loves you. You're great. Matty Eisman. Always Jimba. a pleasure. Hey, buddy, Thanks appreciate for coming you on. on. Yes. Thanks for making me laugh. Anthony, you are, I was going to say the glue. But I don't want to say that. Um, no, no, that's fine. You are the bile that holds <laughs> the show together. The bile, the stinking brown bile that holds the show together. I, I take that as a compliment from you, Chip. Thank you. Yeah. Yep. Um, uh, okay. Yeah. By the way, if you want your Chipperson ringtones, uh, go to chipchipperson.com and grab up some merchandise. Those are good. And get yourself a cameo. Anyway, the thank cup. you guys. Everybody knows how we close. Let's count down. Oh, boy. Uh, Z, give daddy a number. I just want to be so evil. I'm not going to do it, though. Uh, we'll, we'll do 11. 11. <laughs> 10, Ten, nine, nine eight, eight, and a seven, and a six, six and a five, whoa, four, four, three, two, three, and then two. And after two comes one, one chippy, chippy, chippy guy, for the, the muckers. You guys been the best. Thank you, Chip. Matt. Thanks, Chip. Anthony. Matty, good seeing you. Thank good you, Good to see you, Mr. C. Thank you yeah. all. Pleasure to meet you. Nice to meet you. All right. Don't get too happy now. All right. <laughs> Righto. Goodbye, y'all. <laughs>